All right, guys, welcome back to more PES 5 Master League. We are here today with some more transfer action coming for you, and this is what we're going to be doing this week. So in the last episode, I said about maybe we could bring Dijon back. If we do bring him back, he'll probably play more of a defensive role, maybe as a centre-back, because he can play there, and he did play there when we first had him. So this is an option. We have actually offered um, Schwartz for him is what we've done so yeah on top of that we've also gone back in for Orellana and offered 1,500 as a salary and 10,000 um, funds as well on top of that so that's the only two things we're going to do in this episode that's kind of the plan and honestly if we get these two there's plenty of weeks to try and get them Dijon is more likely to definitely happen this week because he's open to negotiate um, but if we get these two, that's probably it for this summer, because I don't think we really need to do anything else, unless something really good comes up, or we get some sort of offer from one of our players. But yeah, that is what we're going to try this episode. We're going to move on and play Palermo today. Here we are then, and uh, ooh, look at this. Quite a nice stadium, that. Uh, oh god, they got like, like the uh, the rocks, or hills, cliffs, whatever you want to call it in the background there. Very nicely done. Matthew, the captain today, he's going to lead us out. And uh, yeah, Niri Sahin, in fact a double debut today, Niri Sahin and uh, Yossi are going to start this one for us because uh, why not, let's get them on there, let's see how they go. Niri Sahin is going to start an attack in midfield today and um, Yossi's going to start at left back, so yes, um, he's more of a right sided player but he's going to start there anyway. So yeah, kind of excited to see him back. Um, Neri Sahin because he looks like he's gotten quite a stat improvement since we last saw him. So, yeah. Um, other than that, not a lot to really say. Um, here is Neri Sahin with a early shot there on target. He's going to take the free kicks as well. Let's see how he goes on free kicks uh, because obviously pre-season we want to see how players go so Iniesta is going to move back into centre midfield for this one. Uh, Cafu at the back. This could be 1-0 if we aren't careful. Still could be 1-0. Mm, maybe not. Nice save by uh, Oscar Cordoba there, who's going to take goal yet again today. Marshall on the bench. Um, so, yeah, here he is, actually. Yossi, or Yossi, or wh whatever you want to call him. He's here. He's he's a pro. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so... Elephant in the room, <laughs> obviously. Schwartz. Schwartz is the elephant in the room here. Um, it was either him or Owusu, and I think I talked about it in the last game. And ultimately, come to the decision of Schwartz. We tried to get rid of him in the other game week, which didn't happen when we offered a swap deal. Um, so that didn't quite happen. But it's just... Well, I was looking at the stats, and I think... Awusu scored like seven goals last season. I think he scored like four in the in the league and like three in the cup, or it might be the other way around. I can't remember. Schwartz, from what I was looking at, scored one. He's just not getting game time anymore, and he's just going to have to bite the bullet, in my opinion. He, he's got to go. It's as simple as that. You know, somebody's got to go, in my opinion, and I feel it's going to have to be Schwartz. There's no other way about it, um, in, in my opinion, honestly. So that's just the way it is. Uh, Schwartz is a little bit younger than uh, Awusu and whatnot, but I'm just not feeling the vibe with him anymore. Like, so good in Season 2 and 3, and then just... He's just lost it now. He's just... He's not there anymore. Where It's like, where did he go? Here's Mafior, by the way, with a shot. Um... I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what to say. We. So, I'm sure he went to Barcelona in a swap deal or something around season four. I want to say, um, and then about a season or so later, we acquired him back. And since then, he's not really done an awful lot. Like he's maybe popped in a goal here and there, but last season, I mean, it started out kind of positive because. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's way over the bar. Um, it, it was kind of positive because. Uh, oh, that's Yoss. Yossi? Yoss? Yoss. He, he, he tried. Um, 
it started off positive because he scored four goals in the first pre-season game against Portsmouth and it was like oh you know what maybe Schwartz is going to c come up good this season and again we just didn't really play him in the end so yeah I think um, it's fair to say that something's got to give and here's Rooney oh with a chance that's gone wide I'm not sure what this shot was from Rooney honestly he needs to put it towards the uh, the far right there so yeah, uh, like I said, debuts today for two new players. Not expecting much from them, honestly. Like if something good happens, then it something good happens, doesn't it? Um, but uh, again, you can't expect too much on the first game. I don't want to put too much pressure on them. But something that yeah, that's something that's weird. Is I was looking at Joe Cole's stats, you know, before we sold him. And when you look at his stats compared to actually this season's. He's moved to Chelsea, and his stats have suddenly shot through the roof. Like, they've actually gone right up. And I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on. His stats have just suddenly gotten way better. And I can't come to a conclusion of as to why they have. Um, maybe the transfers screw with things. Does a player's abilities go up when they transfer? I don't... Honestly, I don't know what's going on. There's like a lot of his stats have gone into the red area when I'm sure none of his stats were even in the red area before. They were all like in the orange area, which I'm just finding really, really strange. <laughs> it is a really kind of an odd one. Um, but yeah, that's something. But, oh well, you know, they would have just stayed the same if, if he had stayed with us, right? So I don't know about that, but really um it, it's really whatever it is you know there'll be some logical explanation for it but yeah it's the first time i'm ever noticing something like that which is weird you would you would have thought i'd have noticed much earlier but whatevs so yeah uh here we are still in the first half here not a lot's happening to be honest i kind of wish we picked a different color to play in because it's kind of i don't know looking a little similar in a way I don't, I don't know, it, it, this, the white against the pink is not, I don't know, it's just not for me. I was going to play us in the black kit today, but that didn't actually happen in the end. Here's Cordoba with a boot out. And uh, here's Iniesta. And uh, we really could do with something to happen here. Here's Cafu, Cafu red four marrow, we've got company in there, doesn't really play an awful lot. Uh, we've got Cannavaro in there. Here's Mafio. And this is good, but needs to find someone. Finds Iniesta, takes the shot. Nuri Sahin with a shot. Blocked. Here's Cafu. And that's the end of the first half, yeah. Um, okay, a very mediocre first half. Less than what we were expecting, but... Let's uh, crack on in the second half. See, for me, I'm just kind of wanting all of these pre-season games out of the way just so we can get down to, like, transfers and get on with the next season. But it's um, there's still a long way to go yet. But um, like I said, if Orellano is acquired, it's as simple as a striker has to go. So... That's kind of the whole thing today. Rooney's going to chase after this. The goalkeeper is out of his goal, but uh, the kick out was quite a long one. Not enough time to really win the ball back and get a shot off, in my opinion, anyway. But uh, this guy, this new guy, though, Yossi, just like coming up from uh, the second division with um, Pez. United, I believe he was playing in the same team as Mafio back in like 2004, 2005 actually, in real life. Uh, I can't remember what the team was called. Was it? Oh, I'll, I'll probably put it on screen. But yeah, I actually found out that they were playing in the same team at one point, which is crazy to think. Because um, I thought, let's, you know, I maybe need to do some research into this first, you know, before doing anything. But uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's a good shot. That has hit the post there and blocked away in the end corner to defend here 
A nice tip by Cordoba, that one. Here's Rooney. Here's Yossi. He can get himself up there. Like uh, Risa does, I'll be happy with that this season. <laughs> That's what he was signed for to try and do. And, oh, it's just out. That wasn't his fault. That was a just a bit of a wrong pass. But, uh, yeah, Nuri Sahin has got number 24 on. The numbers will be changed and redone at the end of pre-season. That's usually what we do. We usually allow ourselves the full pre-season to sign players and then after we've signed and got all the transfer business done we then go through the squad numbers so whatever numbers players have got now are not guaranteed i think rooney might be changing number as well by the end of this pre-season so there's that here is rooney by the way there's Babel that's taken off the ball mutu was on a red form arrow today but not um not really anything to say about it. Here's Mafia with a very good chance here. Can he play in Babel? Oh my god, where is that going, Babel? That's nowhere near. Yeah, we really should have picked a different colour. I, I really do feel like we should have. But uh, once this game is over with, that's half of pre-season done. Not too long to go until the season will be here. Here's Babel, here's Root. That has to be one of the worst shots I've ever seen. There was just no power behind that at all. We've got an opportunity here, perhaps. Oh, what is this today? Is Iniesta and oh Rudy there with a attempt to do something anywhere. That's gonna go out of play. Here's Kaiser. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we we're not we're not having the best of games here today. But uh, this is a team we've not faced before, so that was one of the reasons that we uh, picked them. We're at their stadium today, and it looks very nice. Uh, Babel is not going to get there for that. So uh, I think when I was looking at it, Ronaldo scored like 23 goals in the league last season, but didn't he even score a cup goal, apparently. Apparently he did not. Here is Nuri Sahin. And it's Babel! Oh, what a save. Fantastic save, that one. It's Mafio. It's Sahin on a debut! I mean, it's pre-season. Do you count it as a real debut? I don't know. But <laughs> it's a goal nonetheless. It's a, it's a good start to his uh, life back at Liverpool and then Liverpool share. Played for Liverpool in real life in 2012-2013 uh, uh, season. But that didn't really work out for the guy. And then he just gets the sight of goal here. Takes the shot. Low and hard. And a goal. Took all game, but still. But still. Oh, foul there. Gambino's coming on from Mafio. Uh, so Captain's armband is going over to Iniesta now. Gambino's going to get some game time here, which is good to see as well. And uh, I highly doubt he's going to score that. Do we just say screw it and have a pop at it? Just a little cheeky pop. Oh! <laughs> I mean, it troubled the keeper, didn't it, in the end? It wasn't quite where we wanted the ball to go, but still. You know, can we complain with that? Babble! What is the... <laughs> what is that by the keeper? 
What is... Th literally, what is that? And... Oh, Rooney there with a chance. He was unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, just the one substitute here, I think, is fair enough. Here's Yossi. Go on, Yossi. Gets the cross in. Ah, never mind. Right at the end of this match here now. Iniesta can't get to that. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, that's way off target. I mean, even, to be honest, we have not played that great today. And even if it's just the one goal, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, so I do coming off there for them. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm more interested in the transfers. Just give us the transfer news. <laughs> I'm assuming the De Jong deal should have come through because he is open to negotiate, and I think offering Schwartz for him is... Uh, would it seal the deal, honestly? But, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, like I said, didn't play the best, but... Good one for uh, Niri Sahin on his uh, debut return. And, of course, he gets the 8.0 there. I think he played all right. I mean, I mean, nothing special. The free kick at the end there was kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, 7.5 for Mafio, 7 for uh, Miniesta, 6.5 for Yoss. I mean, that's not bad to start with. I'm not expecting a lot, but it looked all right. Um, 7.5 for Babel. Gambino didn't really have enough time. What? Are you serious? Orlando wants even more money than what we've offered and De Jong breakdown even though he's open to negotiate really nobody wants Schwartz then this is weird man I don't know what is happening but I was expecting at least one of them to come back as a success honestly weird um I don't I don't know I was expecting I was expecting it to happen but I guess sometimes it doesn't always doesn't it but look at the stats for Joe Cole right here his stats, when he left us, looked nothing like this at all. It's really, really strange. I'm... I don't know. I'm speechless, actually. I don't know what to say about that. His stats didn't look anything like this before. <laughs> he moved to Chelsea, and then all of a sudden his stats improved for some reason. Which, um... I found rather strange. Yeah. But that is that. Um, so I guess next episode we'll just go back in for the same transfers and just hope that we get a little bit lucky. Um, the positives from today is that I think we played... Well, I think the new debutants played all right. Uh, if we have a look at our stamina sort of thing. Uh, we've got Nuri Sahin down here somewhere. Uh, so his stamina, well, he played the full 90 minutes, so I'm expecting that. And Yoss, wherever he is, oh, he's got full stamina, which is good because we've been after somebody who's got like similar stamina levels to Reese. So I know Reese has dropped, um, obviously, in recent years because, like, you know, he is like, what, 35 now, isn't he? 36 next season, Jesus. Um, but, I mean, that's good to play the full 90 minutes, I guess. You might say he didn't really maybe run as much down that left side as Risa usually does, but he was still making good efforts for one match anyway. But we're halfway through pre-season now. We've still got another four negotiation weeks to get through. Um, so, not panicking at this point to get things done. We, we're, we're still in the mix at this moment in time. So, uh, yeah. Oh, well. That's what it is. Let's move on to the next game. We've got the lefties coming up. Um, I think Schwartz is left-footed, so if he had left today, we might have had a chance of playing against him, but I guess not now. <laughs> so, yeah, join us for that one next time, guys. Call it, subscribe, and share, as always, if you want to. And uh, we'll see you for that one, and we'll try some more transfers next time. Good debut for uh, Sahin and Yossi. Let's keep going. See you then. Take care.